welcome back to On The Shelf Gaming, the only show where I picked up more golden cogs than I thought I did. Woo! Didn't I? Hi, guy! I see you found Do you think, okay, so I didn't mention this last episode. Do you think that he has just a weird long nose, or do you think he has a weird long Hitler stash? <laughs> so I also didn't, uh, didn't mention it. He has definitely got a Hitler stash. It's just like, it takes up a third of his fucking face. Yeah. Also, we got the best fucking boomerang in the game. Did we? Yeah. It's the, uh, multi-rang. And it's essentially your shotgun boomerang, mm -hmm. but uh, you can do this. Oh, what? <laughs> you can <laughs> fucking throw rapid fire fucking boomerangs. And like, if there was nothing your enemies could do before, there's definitely <laughs> nothing they can do now. Yeah, this, uh, <laughs> could I, did they, like, for each individual boomerang, is it the same amount of damage as the normal boomerang? Yeah, well, every boomerang is a one shot. So it, Oh, so it's literally You're just... literally just throwing a bunch now. <laughs> God, that is just not even fair. I know, I love it though. It's just, it's so fun to just kind of run through the episode just like mashing your boomerang <laughs> button. Anyway, let's head to the bridge on the river tide! The bridge! That was a dapper fucking frog. What in just the middle of the day? Uh, yeah, but not here. Here it's time for eternal night. Ah, thank God. I like how he's always here just monologuing to himself before we get here. Right. It's like we're, we're traveling through fucking space time. We didn't hear a word <laughs> of that. Maybe that's... <laughs> I was literally about to say, maybe that's why he feels the need to fucking show up so much. Dennis the cheapskate. Uh, well, <clears throat> sorry. Look up. I, I mean, green tree frog. Oh, dear. Oh, Barbara. Biggest thundering collection this Whoa! I don't know where that is. I tried to convince him to give some up, but he's too precious with them. I'm sure Foolish. We're trying to save the world. <laughs> don't worry, bro. I know exactly how to convince him. Leave it to me, multi rag activate. <laughs> <laughs> hey Danny! <laughs> you and I need to have a little talk, friend! <laughs> Oh yeah, they introduced uh, a new enemy type where you can't just whack them with your rangs. You gotta bite them and stuff. Uh, I gonna say, I noticed that he was like blocking them or something. Yeah, he's a cricket player lizard for some <laughs> reason. So, you know, I mean, everybody, impervious to boomerangs. Yeah, everybody in Australia knows to make sure that you carry your cricket bat all the time. It's the only it's the only defense against boomerangs. I mean, what are you going to do when someone comes up doing this to you and you don't have your cricket bat? I mean, I would just die. I mean, yeah. I mean, sure, like, I've got my mandatory state-issued gun on me at all times, but I can't just pull that out at a moment's notice when there's a boomerang halfway to my face. <laughs> Ignore the fact that most of these are hitting him. <laughs> but say, he's blocking every third. <laughs> anyway. That that block cycle clearly designed for the normal boomerang throw. <laughs> right. So is there anything that the normal boomerang can do that this one can't? Nope. <laughs> Damn. Damn. The only advantage of this boomerang. Uh because like like okay, like here we go, the flame ring. Like, uh, melts ice and also can melt, like, spider webs and stuff. And just, like, hurts enemies, normally. But, like, the regular boomerang is just the multi-rang, but only two. Because <laughs> it's it's the exact same. You, I mean, I think the distance on it is a little more, but not enough to, like, actually matter. Right. When you got this sort of turnaround on the speed... How embarrassing must it be? You're blocking all these rangs. It's like, ha! That fucking loser Tasmanian Tiger. He can't do anything to me as he's slowly but surely closing the distance. <laughs> and then he bites you. <laughs> Can I get up there? Just need to. I probably need to fucking glide down from something else. Nah, bro. Probably just need to jump higher. Get good. Hell yeah! God, I. I recently watched, because uh, we started, you know, after we started playing Ty, I was like feeling nostalgic for like the whole series. And so I was just looking up videos about Ty. Right. You know, see what like other people thought. 
um, about them. And, uh, you know Nitro Rad? Yes. He did a retrospective on the first two. Uh, he did one, like, a couple years ago, but he didn't like them anymore because he was being too... He was trying to be too angry video game nerd, and so he just didn't like... Oh, damn it. He didn't like how they held up. Right. Well, he was talking about how he really likes this level, and I always remembered as a kid, I did not much care for this level. Interesting. I don't know, something... And, like, all the points he brought up for, like, why he liked it, I'm like, yeah, that's why I don't like this level. <laughs> That's fair. But it was weird, because, like, I agreed with him on, like, every fucking else. Like, everything else. So, clearly, our tastes in this game line up pretty well. Except, except for, for the aspects level. of this level. Yeah, that's fair. No, it's definitely interesting, because I've watched him for a long, long time now. And, uh... It, it's really interesting watching... Because, like... It, and I'm sure every person who sticks with, like, reviews... Um, for a significant length of time goes through it. Um, and if you don't, that's probably a bad thing more so than a good thing. But, like, not really knowing for sure. Because I, and I don't remember for sure if it's him, but I believe it was. He basically, um, at one point on Twitter or YouTube or somewhere said something along those lines. He was trying to be to, you know, this is a review. This needs to be, like an objective, critical look at this thing. It can't be like, oh, I like it, therefore it's good. It has to be, like, objectively justifiable. And it's like... Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm sure this game has some really good points to it, but it also has some really bad points to it. Yeah. And if you just... If, you, if you're trying to look at it and be like, ah, yes, here's my, my super critical... Where I, you know, I, I'm not biased, ignoring the fact that literally everybody is biased about literally everything in life. Right. I am not biased towards or against games. This is a completely objective look at it. It's like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know how you'd make the argument that by like average objective standards, this is a great game because like it doesn't. Because, like, I know last time we talked about how the the pig that you rode around, right. like, it controls, like, really bad. Yes. But And, I, and I, granted, I haven't played a standard Ty, because I just played a little bit of the pig, and it felt terrible. But, like, Ty looks like he doesn't feel that great to control. Uh, yeah, he's a little squirrely sometimes. It, it's mainly the camera. He controls fine, but the camera, you lose sight of yourself so mm. fast. But it... It, it's just stuff like that. Oh. Relax, mate. I'm Ty, and you must be Dennis the Cheapskate. Oh, I mean Green Tree Frog. <laughs> Damn, got him. Got him. One thing, uh, you know, that Nitro had pointed out in his video. Uh, I'm just going to go throw that up here. Uh, <laughs> Not sponsored by Nitro Rad or no Nitro Rad, but well, liked his video. Um, uh, he brought up that like as far as like the the two like the two thousands like mascot platformers went, Ty is like weirdly nice. Like he's like, like his attitude. Yeah, like he's he's like he seems like he should be rough around the edges, um, but I don't know. He's just he's just not. No, he's really not. Like he. He, and it, especially, um, cause of like the, the commercial stuff we were looking at and, and that, but like his design just screams, I was made with attitude in mind. Right. It's really trying and, to capture like whatever Sonic had tapped into. Yeah. And like, cause he, his design itself, um, like, yeah, of course he uses boomerangs, but like just the way he, he wields them. Right. Um, when, and, and whenever just, he runs, he's like scowling, like right, Grr. and like he bites people, and like there, there's so many things about him that are just like, damn, I am attitude personified, right? And then he's like, whoa, calm down, buddy, take it easy, man. <laughs> Everything's well, fine. I'm Ty. I'm a great guy. Well, and like he he doesn't have like a super quick whip. Like, there yeah. are plenty of points in this game where, like, he just doesn't know how to respond to something <laughs> stupid that someone does or says. And it's like, that's unimaginable for a fucking, like, mascot platformer. Oh, Can for you ever sure. imagine Sonic not having something to say? Oh, right. 
No, absolutely. Honestly, it's really endearing in a way, though. That he is just kind of, like, chill. Yeah, because, like, if he was just, like, knockoff Sonic, which is really what his design screams is what you're going to get from him. Like, I mean, it, he could still be fine, obviously, depending on how they do it. It's not to say it'd be, like, inherently bad. But I don't know, he, him not being, like, straight up one-to-one -one copy really just, I don't know. It benefits it, him a especially lot. Especially now. Because at the time, of course, you know, there was lots of the mascot platformers, and they weren't sure what they wanted to do, and a lot of them turned towards the more edgy stuff. And, like, edgy stuff was super popular for a super long time. And don't get me wrong, I, of all people, am not going to complain about things being too edgy. Right. Because I fucking love all the edgy characters. But I don't know. There's just something... Something about a character who's just, like... Kind of normal. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it does kind of endear you to him, because, like, it, it really does feel like we're just kind of along for a ride here. Oh, thanks, pal! Can I have, like, nine? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about, like, I don't know, just a few more of this color? Oh, dear. This isn't good. My hot water system has given up the ghost. The pilot flames must have gone out. You know, pretend to have a flaming boomerang. <laughs> that you already used to light all these trash cans on fire. By the way, super illegal. You're under arrest. Otherwise, I do it, you know. Yeah, okay, no worries. Yeah, like right there. Sonic would have had some sort of fucking cheeky comment like, oh, allergic to gas. I think you're just allergic to work. <laughs> High five, Tails. <laughs> but then fucking Ty is just like, yeah, right, yeah, no, whatever. Yeah. Honestly, it, it though... It gets me another Thunder Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, like... If you swap Tails in... Like, like, SA2 or later Tails... To be the protagonist of a Sonic game... Would it not just be Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? <laughs> at that point? <laughs> it really would, actually. <laughs> really bring that up. That's a good uh, point. Man. And not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, I, I love Tails, too. He's great. Who's your favorite Sonic character? Oh wait, actually, yeah. I never, never mind. I was gonna say, is that I, even a question? I, mean, I, I immediately forgot who you were. Yeah, oh, uh, shit. just for the viewers at home, in case you're unaware, uh, my favorite Sonic character is my personal lord and savior, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, the real, the real question here is, who is your favorite Sonic character? God, I, I want it to also be Shadow, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a sucker for Knuckles. That's fair. Knuckles is great. Basically, every time Knuckles... Or Vector. Like, Vector definitely shows up more sparingly, but whenever Knuckles or Vector are in a project, I'm just like, mm, yeah, good Sonic game. Is Vector the crocodile? Yeah, he's the crocodile. Had a he, Team Chaotix. Yeah, he is pretty cool. I really like... Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. He's also on Team Chaotix. Espio? Yeah! The edgy one? Yeah, he's super cool. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm so shocked to hear you say that. I <laughs> I can't believe that of all the, the characters... It's not it's not Charmy B. <laughs> That's not your favorite it's member not, of Team Chaotix? It's not Vector the Hip Hop Crocodile? <laughs> no, no, it, it's Espio. The edgy one? The, the edgy ninja guy? Yeah, I, I'm, man, I'm, I haven't been this shocked since like uh, 45 seconds ago when you said Shadow the Hedgehog. God damn it. <laughs> I came close to this jump the first time, and I can't fucking get it. I want that cog. Though, you know, one thing that is weird, I know we're not playing Sonic, and we've spent, like, half this episode talking about Sonic, so... <laughs> probably try to wrap up the Sonic soon. But, like, because Sonic, he was designed in the early 90s. And it, so he's, like, early 90s edgy cool. Right. And Shadow, he was designed in, like, the late 90s, early 2000s. So he's, like, that turn of the millennia, like, edgy cool guy. And you've got Silver, who's also edgy. Son of a bitch. But he's like 2005 edgy. Right. And, ah, crocodile! Fuck off, Croco. King K. Rule. <laughs> Let's just talk about every other fucking platformer this episode. Oh yeah, man. Well, I try to get this fucking Kong. What the hell? <laughs> who who is your favorite Kong in the Donkey Kong family? Oh, uh, de I'm definitely a Funky Kong kind of guy. Oh. Uh, you. Uh, you know me, bro. Yeah. 
I, I probably wouldn't have guessed that, but now that you've said it, <laughs> I should have known to guess that. But so now that you've said it, you are an idiot, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I said. Funky Kong is a respectable choice in his own way. Is he? Because I feel like he exists just to be the unrespectable degenerate choice. Uh, I mean, yeah. Why can't I fucking... <laughs> see, this is what I'm talking about. When sometimes the fucking ledge grab just doesn't happen. Yeah. I don't know. My introduction to Funky Kong is in Donkey Kong 64, where he literally runs the gun store. Right. So, like... Fuck it. Yeah, I'm not getting is, that cog. I say, this is ridiculous. I'm not getting that cog. Uh, Fuck it. I don't know. He's not... <laughs> I don't think I'd rank him in my top ten. <laughs> <laughs> But he's not bad. He's just not, like, one of my favorites. Understandable. I don't know. Who's yours? Uh, Tiny Kong. Yeah, that tracks. You are a pedophile. Whoa! <laughs> First of all, how <laughs> fucking dare you? Second of all, Tiny Kong is an adult now for some reason? <laughs> oh, yeah, because that makes it all the fucking better that you waited until she was an adult. <laughs> You fucking creep. She, she's older than me. That doesn't make it better, you creep. Well, I guess that I, makes you both creeps. <laughs> I was going to say, doesn't that make her the creep? I don't know. Listen, my point is, it it probably should be Dixie Kong, but I didn't know Dixie Kong existed until Tiny Kong had been my favorite Kong for like 10 years. <laughs> so it was, it's too late to change out. Like, I know, I know Tiny Kong is just like cheap knockoff Dixie Kong. Right. But, you know, you just... I was going to say, I don't know what it is. I know exactly what it is, actually. Nostalgia. Right. You can't beat it. Hell yeah. Wait, did you just right. turn that on without going up there? Uh, I don't think I did. Oh. I think I have to go up there. So I gotta wait for these fucking platforms. I don't know. Who's your favorite cheap knockoff character? Uh, is it wrong to say Ty? <laughs> Uh, since we're playing Ty, it might be wrong to say Ty. There we go. There's eight lights? Yeah. This level's not great. I... See, and, like, the, the, this is the point, like, Nitro Rat is making. is like, oh, yeah, you know, it's super fun, because, you know, you know, it starts kind of like a hallway, but then it, like, opens up to this huge lake area, and you can go wherever you want, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I just... The, the instant I need to backtrack in video games... I, it's you when you start me. to lose interest. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I I am a fucking bull, man. I like I, I'm a fucking bull. I like to move in one direction until I hit something. <laughs> nah, that's totally fair. That's really interesting to me though, cause like, and it was when I didn't really ever think about it too much, um, until you and I were playing Outward that one time, mm. and I was just like. Come on, bro. We need to go to the city where we're supposed to go to. And you were like, no, bro. Who the fuck goes to the city they were told to go to? We need to explore literally everywhere. <laughs> and you you said it, and I forget exactly how you phrased it, but basically you said it in a way that implied that nobody who plays games would ever possibly want to progress the game as their main, like, objective. Well, and... Not to say that that's what you think, just to, like, that's how you said it. Because you were you were ragging on me for being like, No, bro, we need to go progress the objective. Uh, but it's like, man, I never really thought about it, but you and I play games completely differently. Oh, I mean, that, did that just occur to you? I could have told you that much. No, not just now. I mean, that was a long time ago, but... <laughs> well, yeah, I'm talking, to the, I'm talking to that long ago, Eric. Oh, well, fair. No, I fucking, I don't know. It depends on the kind of game. Like, with games like this, like with fucking, like, action platformers, I'm just, especially when they do, like, levels like this, mm -hmm. it's just like, alright, so, I want to go to, I want to go to the end of the fucking level, and along the way, I want to hit stuff. Right. I don't like that this level's main thing is, okay, go to the end of the level, and, and then, then immediately back. it's like, okay, now go the wander around the level. It's like, well, I could have wandered around the level before I came all the way to the, to the end. Nah, that's fair. And that's a problem in a lot of levels, but I don't know why. I just find this one a little extra egregious for whatever reason. Did he hit it? Oh, oh, you're up there. Ah! 
probably not how I'm supposed to do that, but whatever, we take those. Listen, bro, there's no such thing as unintended in game design. Ignore the fact that unintended stuff happens constantly in this game. All exactly as planned. <gasps> He's the bad of us! Well, who can blame him? You know, Ty, it's high time you learned how to dive. You mean that thing I've been doing, like, since I learned how to swim? Yeah, that thing. Didn't you need to dive in the other level? Uh, he, he taught you how to, like, dive underwater once you're already swimming. Now he's teaching you how to dive from the air. Oh, I gotcha. I was gonna say, like, didn't we spend almost that entire level underwater? <laughs> Bonza, you're a natural, Ty. If you're up to the challenge, why don't you try the Super Tower High Dive? Only three fatalities this year. Dive from the top of the Super Tower. Whoa! Through each of the rings on the way down. Yeah, look, that's why I said only three. You should be counting your lucky stars. But how many people have tried to, to jump it, uh, Dennis? Or whatever his name was. Rex. Rex. Dennis is the Dennis frog. Dennis is the frog, that's right. I just remembered him saying Dennis. Listen, it's fine. I couldn't remember who said Dennis. Happens to the best of us. You've never forgotten someone's name before? <laughs> no, Crane didn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal, bro. You'd give the Pippi Beach Nippers a run for their money. Even the Pippi Beach Nippers. I noticed that all those circles were like directly in front of each other and it took yeah. next to nothing. To you you really just gotta find the spot that they're all gonna pass through. And you can see the bottom one from the top one. It's not particularly difficult. <laughs> All right, where is where more thing? I think it's Excuse me, rude. crocodile. Have you seen? Uh... I noticed all of our lights went out. Well, yeah, these were just we were just lighting these so we can get home. Oh. Yeah, that's what we were doing, by the way, in case you couldn't figure that out. He's a fucking wuss and wouldn't go back home with all the lights off. Oh, uh, I mean... So we were literally just lighting his way. Fair? And that was... That... I hated this mission as a kid. It's fine now, just because I, I, I have, like, comprehension and I can do things. But, like, when I, when I did this as a kid, I just ran straight ahead of him. And I lit everything as fast as I possibly could. Not realizing that... They go out, and also he runs really slow. Mm. So I was just waiting at the end of his. I was like waiting in his house, like God, where the fuck is he? And then he showed up, uh, like twenty minutes later after I doubled <laughs> back and realized I had to fucking do everything. Jesus. I, I can just. I know I'm not supposed to. I wonder if I can just make it. Yolo. Woo. Oh, I thought. I thought that was gonna be like. An invisible wall if you weren't high enough over it. And I was like, oh, so close. I know. That's what I was really figuring it was going to do. How are we supposed to come up here? Uh, there's a platform that you hit, like, a button, and it starts, like, going around. Oh, well, that's annoying. Let's say you're supposed to get all the opals. God, playing the game as intended? <laughs> fucking lame. What the fucking thunder? Oh, God, no, this is the two turkey one? Kill the turkey. No! <laughs> no presidential pardon for you today, Turkey. Not like yesterday. Ah. And by yesterday, I mean however many days ago it was that the video came out. <laughs> also, not yesterday in real life, because that was six days ago. Hell yeah, bro. Always topical, you and I. Man, I don't know, I don't remember who it was now, but I was watching a video that was released the other day, and, uh, I forget exactly what they said, but their opening was something along the lines of, uh, Happy Halloween, even if you're watching this video in next June. <laughs> and it's like, damn. So we should open every fucking video. I know! <laughs> And I mean, granted, it was like a, a spooky, scary related video, so of course, it's specifically meant to be topical. Right. Which I sometimes question, um, because it's like, I don't know, it's like for Halloween, if like, you know, we made a fucking, you know, we're, we're a YouTube reviewer, we, we review games or movies or whatever. And you know, we are like, alright, it's Halloween, 
Time to review the scariest game of all time! Uh, fucking, uh, Friday the 13th for the NES. <laughs> and... You're like, ooh, spooky, scary stuff. But then, like, if you watch it literally any time other than when it was released, unless there's an incredibly big coincidence, it's not going to be the right time. Right. I don't know, something about releasing a video like that, it feels wrong in a way. But then I'm like, well, but, like, everything does that. It's right. like fucking uh, Charlie Brown has his Christmas special. Right. And, I mean, but at the same time, they only play it at Christmas time. It's not like you're going to fucking be flipping flip, through the flip channels. on the TV. And... Yeah. But coincidentally, I, you know, I was I was flipping the channels last May, and <laughs> there it was, Charlie Brown and Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. So it's one of those things, it's like, you know, does it make sense to do that? Does it not? I don't know. I mean, obviously, people mostly just do it because it's fun to do it that way, more so than anything else. Yeah, sure. You shouldn't be here, Ty. Every time he says Ty, I keep reading his TV. Yes, Niddy. He's the biggest, toughest bully this side of the black stump. Well, he doesn't sound so tough. Ah! Oh, I'm convinced. That guy's a fucking menace. Now you've riled him. Man. We ever talked about how this game has, like, the greatest voice acting of all time? <laughs> we didn't quite mention it, but yeah, let's go ahead and bring that up now. <laughs> Man, that roar. Roar! Terrifying. I shit myself. <laughs> and not just the normal amount of shitting yourself. There we go. I, I can see it from here. <laughs> it's flooding the room. Oh, God, it's getting closer. <laughs> We did it! His hot water is saved! He can finally bathe that smelly bastard! It's Santa! I am orange rat, puny rat. No match for Netty. Netty clobber him good! Netty doesn't sound like he's a very smart man. What are you talking about, bro? Ah, damn it! He's unbeatable! Go down, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I just got a big target on the center of his chest that he was smart enough to cover with a plate. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why that wasn't working to begin with. Uh, he's really, really strong. Are your rings just not, like, targeting properly? Uh, I think so. Cause you're supposed to like knock the yeah there you go you're supposed yeah. to like knock the straps off of them. There you we go. You got him! Kill his ass! Damn, that is one dead what? Netty. Never mind, he's fine. <laughs> Netty, I'm so ashamed. Yeah. You should be. Give shiny rock to new friend. I don't know how we've jumped to that conclusion, Nettie. <laughs> oh, God. That kind of stuff is always super funny to me. <laughs> it's like, damn, you just broke into my house and kicked my fucking ass. <laughs> Here's that thing you've been collecting, bro. Anyway, yeah. next same time next week. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to end the episode here in a sec, but just real quick to, to reference another really funny one to me. Uh, spoilers for uh, Baldur's Gate 3 coming up here in like two seconds, but they're like right at the beginning of the game, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, whenever Shadowheart and Lazel are fighting all the fucking time, right? and they have their big blowout at the camp, and Shadowheart's like in a fucking knife her in right. her sleep. Right. And one of the options you get to say is, I'm just glad we're all friends again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, man. They both get mad when you say that, too. It's the fucking best. <laughs> They're both like, that is not what happened here, but okay. We are not fucking friends. <laughs> I hope that tadpole eats your brain uh, yesterday. Anyway, next time on Woo! the show of gaming, we'll play this level some more, probably. Probably not.